Well, the market once again shrugging off that DC drama that Kayla went through. The S&P and NASDAQ hitting all-time highs along with the Russell 2000. So is the Fed's statement that the economy is strong the main driver of the surge? Let's bring in Tim Courtney. He's Chief Investment Officer with Accenture Wealth Advisors and Shannon Sakosha, Chief Investment Officer with Boston Private Wealth. Uh, Shannon, let me start with you today. Uh, hopefully you were able to follow along with what Mr. Powell was saying out in Jackson Hole. He is uh, not at all concerned really with inflation. He said, yeah, it moved above 2%. No clear sign of acceleration above the target. Do you think he's a little too complacent about inflation being a possible a possible risk? No, I don't think so. I, I think if you look at what we've seen from the Fed, um, they, Powell is continuing uh, Yellen's statements about being data dependent. If you look at where we should be at the end of such a long expansion and on, on top of a fiscal stimulus package that we received, we should be seeing inflation higher than it is now. And I think it's, um, I think the thoughtful response from Powell today, I think it's certainly setting the stage for the market rally that we're seeing. And I would expect to see that. I mean, we're down to 60% probability for a December rate hike. I mean, that, that's incredible, um, considering where we were just a couple of months ago and we're worried about runaway inflation. So we've been feeling like if you look at the wage numbers, we're not seeing it in wages, which is what is going to impact, you know, most companies here in the United States more directly. So uh, for us, this is a, this was a great statement from Powell and indicative of what we've sort of seen him do over the last couple of statements that he's made. Tim, both some sort of dovish comments, but also a number of, of hawkish comments, depending on how you read the tea leaves of what Mr. Powell had to say. Certainly says the economy is strong, believes that we should continue these rate hikes gradually in a measured tone, as Bob Bassani sort of went through us. The market likes that. What did you make? of what Mr. Powell had to say. Do you believe the economy that is strong now can continue to be so in the future? Yeah, I think so. You know, that, that's one of the, the main concerns is, you know, how long is this business cycle going to last in this expansion? And uh, there's a lot of concern about, uh, we, we, you know, people thinking we're in the latest, the, the late innings of this, and uh, we've got to be nearing some kind of recession, and, and the, the, also concerns about the yield curve inverting. I think what the Fed said was, reassuring to the market in that they know that the Fed is not going to rush headlong to go invert the yield curve. And if the yield curve inverts, it's probably going to be the market doing it rather than the Fed. But I think it also, uh, I think they are saying they don't want to fall behind inflation either. It is at a low, a relatively low point historically. If we go back into the 20s, the average uh, CPI has been a little above 3%. So where we've been is not, it's not high. I think it's more indicative of the really slow and low inflation we've had over the last decade. So I think overall it is going to make the markets feel much better and it, it does back up the, the very uh, bullish news that, and numbers we've seen released over the last several months. Tim, I, I'm, I'm interested uh, in my notes. It says that you say pairing gains and reducing market exposure may end up being a good move, assuming you also time reentry right, or it may miss out on another 25 to 50 percent move higher before a downturn occurs. Is that your betting? That we might go 25 to 50 percent higher? That would put the Dow at 37,000 and the S&P at 4,200. Yeah, that, that would be on, a, on the high end of what we might expect. But I, I, I think the, the danger, you know, going back to the discussion, where are we in the cycle? You know, does it make sense to pare back? I think if you, you know, if you're looking at your portfolio, I don't think it's a bad idea to take some gains, especially some, from some of the areas of the market that have done best, which are in the U.S. large companies, maybe technology. Take some of those gains and have some money set aside for, you know, that you can use as dry powder if the market pulls back. But the, the problem with doing that uh, with a lot of your assets is you could very well miss uh, an, uh, another 25 percent run or higher based on these these good numbers we're seeing, and that. We've seen people push their uh, forecast for recession and the end of this business cycle back again and again. And you don't want to no. miss that, uh, that upturn. And I think you would probably agree with the idea that if you're going to need to use some of that money within the next five years, it's always, uh, Shannon and Tim, probably prudent uh, to set some of that money aside and not have it uh, exposed to risk. Agree, disagree, nod or shake your head. <laughs> Agreed. Agree. All right. Shannon, real quick before we let you go, because we have to wrap up here, how, how would you put capital to work here if you had some on the sidelines and you see the market continuing to go higher as we move into the fall and get closer to that Fed meeting? 
I, we're, we're still very optimistic on equities here. Um, actually, you know, we've seen what's been interesting is really this, you know, weaker dollar trend. I know it's, it's short, it's just the last week or so, but um, we're, we're happy to see that. Um, we still very much like uh, international and emerging markets, and we've, uh, I would say we've been hesitant given the strength that we've seen in the dollar. Uh, we still like large cap U.S. companies. We have seen some of the defensive names outperform a little bit here on some of these small pullbacks, so maybe we're entering a new trend where some of the defensives and, and the, the, the dividend yield stocks could have a bit of a run. So uh, we're still heavy, heavily uh, exposed to equities, and we're going to remain so through the end of the year.